Hey guys, Paradox here, MSC Paradox here, and I'm going to show you guys how to motion track 3D text with Element in After Effects CS6 or above without using Buju or Cinema 4D. So yeah, I'm just going to teach you how to motion track in After Effects alone. So this is what we're going to, this is hopefully our final product. Sexy people, because you know guys are sexy and it's gonna look like that and hopefully yeah but it depends whatever cinematic you guys are using what spot you want your text in you'll see okay so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to I'm just gonna close this out in case it confuses you guys and just ignore that cuz I'm fat but okay file import I'm not fat okay go to file import and then you click file again and then you want to import all your stuff but you can click multiple files back there or you can just do what do you call it or for now i'm just importing my cinematic so i'm going to go to desktop which is where i have it and you're going to click cinematic right here and i already have it imported but you click import and it will appear right there like it is and now you're going to take your cinematic and you're going to drag it into this icon which means pre-compose pre-composing is good and now what you want to do is you're going to right click this and you're going to click track camera and if you do it right then you have to give it a minute or two because it takes a while to make the tracking points but yeah you're going to click track camera and then I'm not even going to let it do it because I'm going to click cancel because I already have a comp with it done but you're going to give it a minute or two to do it and everything will be done and if you did it successfully th then you should have your 3d camera track here done and yeah you should have all these skittles everywhere and if you don't and it says camera analysis analyze it okay whatever camera solve failed then that means that there was a moving object such as like a train or something that was moving really fast in the motion track or the file was too big and you can just press control shift D what the f okay now I know what that means sorry guys that happened to me while I was making my last tutorial and I can't do control shift D yet can I okay control shift D wait okay guys you click this and you click control shift D and it will split it yeah cuz I can't do it because Camtasia is being retarded, but yeah, so You click control shift D and it would split it and then you can camera track both But you don't have to in this case because you know if it works out su su yeah, Successfully then it should be fine. Sorry if my um commentary is horrible. Just woke up Can't get any words, right? Okay, so you got these skit. You don't have any skittles you click this you got these skittles everywhere after you d did everything and what these skittles are these are all motion tracking points, each skittle. And usually they're connected by threes to form a circle, which is where your text or whatever your motion tracking should be. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna motion track on top of this this chocolate slide. Yeah. And you can either click the circle of where you want your text to be, and don't and you can just ignore like the way it's tilted. If it's in the right spot, you're good. But you can click create null in camera for a 3d element and if you're doing text in camera that's for 2d you can click that too and but in this case i'm just gonna take this and i'm gonna left click and i'm gonna drag over highlighting every single point that's on top of chocolate yeah or on top of this slide because that's where i want my text to be and you can just click here create null in camera now because like i said i'm doing this tutorial with element so Null and camera. And now what you're going to get is you're going to get this null and this camera. And the null is like the position over there on top of the chocolate with the sexy people, hopefully. So now the first thing you want to do is you want to click this key up here for text. And you want to put in what you want motion tracked. And it's important the, the spacing you do too. Because if you can either be motion tracked like that or if there's... But you don't want like that being all the way across the chocolate slide. So you just want to press enter. And you can go up here and put a space. And yeah, it looks better. 
than the other way. And yeah, so I got the sexy people right here, which is you guys. And now I'm going to take you guys and I'm going to put you on there. So this is what you're going to do. To get your text onto the spot you want it, you're going to click here, which is the video for the text and you're not going to be able to see it anymore. So you're going to go to your you're going to go to layer new solid and you're going to name it whatever you want or just make you don't even have to name it but in this case I'm going to name it element cuz this is where element is going to be and you're going to go here and you're going to search up your element plugin from video copilot and you're going to drag it on the element right here and now you can see again because you know it's not a black solid anymore and you go down to here custom layers you want to go to custom text text and mask and you want to go to path layer one and you want to select sexy people the text that you're motion tracking and you want to go to scene setup now after you selected your text first you're not going to see anything that's why you hit extrude now you're going to see these white sexy people and i don't want to be racist so I'm going to pick a design. I can drag designs on, like just like that, and they'll look weird, but yeah. I'm just gonna hit Control Z to undo all that. And you can also make your own design by clicking this and then going down to the settings and changing a bunch of crap, and yeah. But in this case, for the sake of the tutorial and getting the motion tracking done, I'm just gonna click this. So yeah, that looks, that looks nice, that looks cool. So I'm gonna click OK. And you shouldn't be able to see your text. Or sometimes you will. But in this case you don't. Which is normal. And what you're going to do. Is right now. It's not on the chocolate. So you want to get it on top of here. Or wherever you want to get it. You can even motion track it to the wall if you want. But you guys will know how to do it. You pick the points on there. And you'll see later in a couple minutes. How you would change the positioning. To look like it's on the wall. But you go to scene setup. Wait, no you don't. Okay, you got a group one, you got a particle replicator, and now you're going to see all this pop up including position X, Y, Z. And you're going to go to the null that we made, the, the circle that we selected and made, and you're going to click P for position, and it's going to give you its X, Y, and Z. And that's the point we wanted at. So we're going to copy the X to X right here. So we're going to put it 1, 5, 4, 3. Point seven, just like down there, and we're also gonna do one one three seven point one, like there for its y. Ooh, missed the three. And you want to get these exactly like it, and you want to put three five five four point zero. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Wait, that number is too big. Oh yeah, that's too big. Okay, sorry, I messed up. Okay, so now you're gonna see your text, and you see it right there saying sexy people i'm pretty sure if you're making an episode or almost anything you don't want it to be that short because looks so cute no I, he looks too small yeah yeah so you're gonna go to particle look and you're gonna control the size with particle size that controls the whole entire size of whatever is 3d or whatever your motion tracking you don't go up by small decimals because that doesn't do much you want to go up by big numbers like 20 and then you want to go up I'm gonna make this like 40 no too big I'm gonna make it like 30 so you wanna play around with this a little bit and I am exactly at 30 okay that's perfect point zero one okay sorry if that bugs you guys but that's about it for the actual size and where it is, but not for where it is. You want to go here to particle rotation, and if your text is like pointing the other way, like when you first motion tracked, it's like looking like it's a little bit looking that way, or it's like this way, or it's like looking, you know, up there, uh, or it's like, you know, looking down there. You can just go to particle rotation right here and you can change it you can control which way it turns so you can turn it back to the way you want it and you can do this and you can keyframe this to do some cool stuff and yeah you can do a bunch of stuff with it but yeah that's mainly to change the direction it's the rotation and I can't talk in the morning but right so you can also since this isn't even exactly on top of the chocolate 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust this a little bit just to get it to that spot so we're gonna click Z so it goes further back and it's on the chocolate you can see and I don't want it on the pavement I want it to be floating a little bit like actually somewhat and now you can see it further and further I don't know it got away yeah and you can and you want to adjust this a little bit to where you want it so X Y and Z like coordinates pretty much and I'm just gonna make this go a little bit higher and higher and I'm gonna make this come a little bit closer and closer and I guess I guess that works yeah that could work yeah that works so yeah you got your sexy people text on top of where you wanted it which for my case was you know the chocolate and over here you can also do it on the wall you can literally change this to go on the wall with the rotations and the position but if you do that and you pick like a whole different track point all the way here to make it just go on the wall then it's gonna look stupid because when you go forward it's gonna think that the text was meant to be here the track null and it's going to ju it's just like gonna kill itself like like when you're going forward instead of it's the text is supposed to move towards you it would be moving towards you while it's on the wall so what you would do is when you went to camera track and picked your spot you would want to pick the wall or wherever you're motion tracking and yeah so we got our sexy people now it doesn't look the best but you know you guys will play around with these settings and you want to go to hmm okay so the motion tracking is done but I'm just gonna show you a little bit more ways to make this look less ugly so you want to go to your cinematic you want to press control C for copy and then control V and you're gonna give it okay never mind and the second cinematic that you copy, the, the one you pasted should come up you just I'm just gonna delete camera track off of one of them and the one you deleted camera track off of you want to turn this and this off audio and video layer switches so you can't see it anymore which is good you want it to be almost like an empty layer and what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to element and you're gonna go here I'm gonna close this you're gonna go to custom layers and instead of custom text you're gonna go to maps texture maps and you're gonna click number five which is the one we have right here that is empty the one we pasted and changed and you're gonna go to environment up here you're gonna click the arrow down here and you're gonna click cinematic and as you can see the tone changed and you can see it's a little bit more shiny because it's reacting to the environment around it instead of nothing so now it's gonna as it moves along it's gonna be reacting to everything around it and the movement of the cinematic you can see it in there and now to make this look a little less plain what you can do is you can go to your cinematic obviously you're gonna put on a color correction or whatever in this case I'm just gonna pick a random one I think I'll pick over at it yeah and I'm gonna now you have that but the text looks weird because it's you know standing out so I'm gonna copy the color correction and I'm gonna paste it onto element and yeah you can see that the tone blends in more with the CC because the color correction is on the element and you can put anything on element it's just that you if you want to do position and scale you can't scale it up by pressing S if you do it's gonna look all pixely and stupid because remember it's still a solid the element is in the solid the solid is a giant square but the element is like inside of it it's weird to explain but just don't mess around with like the position by pressing P like you did on track null onto element and then copying it into there you have to go into element and go to particle replicator and you I mean go to group one particle replicator and copy it in there but yeah so what I'm saying is don't mess with the outside stuff do it the way I showed you and now what you can do is if you can do anything you want to decorate element pretty much I can make it glow just to make the text a little bit more brighter and I can drag this on and I can change it and as you can see it changes more you can even change the color of just element alone I'm pretty sure hue I'm gonna search up hue and saturation and if you want to do something cool you could literally this controls colors so you can just keyframe this from one point to another and while it's going through the text it could like you know be changing colors and stuff and yeah you can do anything you want you can put a bunch of effects on your element to decorate it and you can do that with 2d text too if you're motion tracking it and yeah 
that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We got our sexy people and everything right here, and you guys are sexy and everything. So, if this tutorial was confusing, I'm sorry I tried. But if you guys still have any questions or you guys are confused, I'll reply back in the comments and try to make it a little bit more clear. And maybe that will work. But one more thing I'm going to cover is if you pre comped it, which is amazing, you're gonna t and you're making like your, you know, you have like your clips and your edit and you just need to do the motion track, needed to do the motion tracking. Let's say you have your song here and we have a bunch of like hardcore edits here and you don't have your cinematic yet you can just take the cinema which one did we do ignore all those okay cinematic four no wait cinematic two yeah okay sorry i, I made these beforehand okay so we did you just drag the pre-comp in there because that's the only one you should be seeing that you made and you click and then you can just drag it on there and then let's say you want it to be like it's like five let's say your cinematic your motion track is like five seconds long but the drop is over here you can adjust it to be 45 seconds but i'm pretty sure no one wants to be staring at it for 45 seconds so you'd like cut to the song fade it in fade it out but your drops right here you don't you want it to be longer unable to solve camera okay i don't care go one bit okay yeah so you want it to be over here you want your you know text to come through on the drop or whatever i don't know beforehand the drop but what the purpose of this is you can click time you can click time stretch and you can just change how long you want it you can make it like stretch factor is how much bigger so in this case i made it twice as small or twice as fast and you can pick how much time you want it to be back here if i want the whole thing to be 20 cent 20 seconds i can just go here change it to 20 press enter boom got it 20 and then you put it wherever you want and yeah you guys know how to do the other stuff hopefully but yeah close this out and i have my cinematic 2 here we're done thanks for watching guys this is paradox here first tutorial hopefully it goes up on other channels but yeah drop a like comment and sub if you guys enjoyed and like i said comment if you need help it's okay to need help if you don't like the video because you and you got everything right then i'm sorry to tell you this but you're gay Oh, whatever. Have a fun day. See ya.